Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I thought to say a quick hello face to face. As you can see I'm in my craft room. I am going to make a quick room tour today so that you can see my craft room and how I organize most of my stuff. I am also going to show you my camera setting and uh, after that we are going to come back again here where I am going to make uh, the drawing of uh, the January card kit winner for my blog. So as I enter my room, you see my two working stations and I hope I'm not making you dizzy as I am holding my camera. Now on the right there, you can see I have my serger and my sewing machine down there at the bottom. At the back where you cannot see, at the back wall is where I do all my sewing. So as you can see, I have lots of drawers where I organize my crafting stuff and uh, most of my furniture are by IKEA. I love those drawer units because I can uh, organize my stuff uh, easily and uh, I have uh, lots of space with all those drawers. And uh, this is where I do all my crafting and my filming. You can see right there I have uh, my storage unit where on top I keep my Sizzix machine and my Martha Stewart scoring board so they are just close by and I can use them whenever I need to. I also have loads of uh, those organizing uh, red um, balls where I keep uh, some of the markers and uh, the pens that I use often. I, I have uh, many bookcases where I store everything and you can see that uh, I like to keep them in these um, transparent uh, plastic boxes. These are by IKEA as well. I organize everything by brand and um, I like to see everything. If I don't see something, I will never use it again. So the whole wall is like that with the, these bookcases and uh, these plastic boxes where I keep from my 6x6 paper pads to my uh, acrylic paints, my stamps, pretty much everything. And here is a closer look to all those boxes. So you can see that I organize everything by brand. Like I have a few for Simon's stamp. I have one for my distress paints, another one for my mediums. Here are all the stuff that I use for my art journaling. And um, as you can see, I don't take them out of their original packaging. I don't uh, reorganize them. Keeping my stamps and dies in their original packaging is really helpful for me. It works for me for years and I don't bother to reorganize stuff. So you can see I have here my Tim Holtz uh, stuff, my Averiel, my Penny Black up there, my Simon's stamp down here and more and more stuff. So when I need something, I can easily grab the box, put it on my desk and browse through all those stamps to find what I am looking for. New stamps always go at the front and I also have a big basket where I put all the new products that uh, I haven't used on my videos yet and they need to be used. I'll show you that basket later on. Now remember that this is my job so I have tons of stuff that you really don't need to have. Anyway, for filming, I have uh, two big lights on uh, the right and the left of my crafting area, of my filming area, and uh, these are by IKEA as well. And you can see a souvenir there, a flag from the US when I went to CHJ. So I have uh, a second battery for my camera. I always need that. It's a lifesaver because I don't have to stop when I am filming uh, just because the battery is out. You can see that um, I have this uh, camera arm, it is attached on the shelf and um, it uh, is very easy to use. I really love it. I am going to put a link down below in the description area in case you need something like that. And here is my craft mat that you see all the time. Now in front of me I have these two organizing boxes. Uh, at the, here I keep all my glues. Here are my glue pens and there are my acrylic blocks, my scissors and craft knives here, some uh, stamp cleaners, I keep my foam tapes, my glue dots, my tape adhesives in this uh, little box, I have my tape runners and my Xyron uh, sticker machines here, some post-it notes and my stamps back there, my date stamps. So I have pretty much everything organized so that I can grab it easily and I don't have to stand up and uh, look for it all around. And this is the basket I was telling you about that it keeps products that I haven't used yet. 
Now on my right, where I keep my Sizzix machine and my scoring board, I, is this drawer where I keep my embossing powders, my ink pads and lots and lots of stuff that I need to grab every day. Now I'm not going to open up each and every drawer because I find it pointless really, but I'm going to keep it real, so I'm going to show you the drawer of shame and this is how I store my ribbon. It seems that I don't use a ribbon all that much and I just can't find the motivation to organize this drawer so I'll just close it back and let's keep that a secret. So in conclusion I prefer to craft than organize but I have a system that works for me and does not turn my craft room into a chaos of products. If you need to see more details on something specific let me know and I will try to include it in the next vlog. I am going to make a list of products such as my camera, my camera arm, the bookcases, the bookshelves that I use. You will find the links down below. So that was the quick craft room tour. I hope you had fun with it. I am now going to pick the winner of the January Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. I'm just going to pick up a number from the ball. I'm not looking. Okay, and the winner is number 349. By the way, the latest February card kit by Simon Says Stamp has just been revealed and it is amazing. It is still in stock, so check it out. It's full of stamps, dies, sequins, clips, stickers and of course papers and uh, cardstock. Of course I'm going to make my one kit 10 cards once it arrives here, but until then check it out and if you love it, grab it quickly because I think that this is going to sell out really quickly. So congratulations to the winner. And uh, that was the vlog for today. I hope it was fun for you as it was for me filming it. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments below. And I might pop in uh, oft more often in face-to-face uh, -face in the camera. So thank you all for watching and have a nice Sunday. Mm -hmm.